Hello guys, welcome back for another build. Okay? Uh, right. I bet you're wondering what the hell is going on with these Spanish Civil War subjects. Well, tell you guys, I'm joining another group build and if you remember way way back when I started, I uh, did a Spanish Civil War group build. Now, it really did took off that group build. That was the best one I ever did. Um, you can tell I don't do uh, group builds anymore. <laughs> cough, cough, um, ship group build. Yeah, um, yeah, but that's one of the best ones I ever did, and I enjoyed it. I can't remember what I built. Ah, that's what it was. It was the um, the tiny little uh, SB2 bomber. From, from now, I remember that. Um, anyway. Going off to subject, as you can tell by the title, we're going to go back, back, back. Um, yes, this is uh, Hobbycraft's very old uh, BF109B, actually. There we are, so you can tell box art is Condor Legion, but I don't know why the machine goes and wings for bees didn't have any. Hmm. There's a train just across the back there. Some echoes. Let's say a couple of freight trains passed, so. Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, if you've ever had a, a academy kit, then you can tell just by looking at it that you know what's going to happen. Now, I've just um, going to be asked just for the very first time uh, done some riveting with my uh, trumpeter riveter, and I have to say, guys, I'm not. It's a bit bodged in some places, but first time attempt, I've really. Done God. I'm not gonna bother with the bottom wing because it will just ruin the look. Um you won't be able to see it. But I've just done little bits here and there just to give it a bit more detail and that lot. But um yeah, I'm gonna start this kit. Uh there was I have many aircraft that did partake in the Spanish Civil War in my stash. I obviously yeah, they've got the B one here. I've got a E one, which is the Airfix one. I've got uh, gas patch models, Heinkel, oh sorry, Henschel, uh, 123 biplane bomber, whatever. I have a tiny uh, Edward Polycarp of I-16, and I have special hobbies I-15 in stash. But um, if you're not aware, I'm also making this at the minute. This is, um, of course, this is ICM's uh, brand new Type 10 I-16. Um, I started this before the group build was announced, so obviously I couldn't partake this build, otherwise I would have done. But um, yeah, this is just going to be my uh, go to thing because it's absolutely brilliant aircraft and it's a beautiful model. So um, obviously, this is a Republican, so in contrast with that, I thought I'd do a Condor Legion. And of course, I had a look online and I put a vote up on the Facebook page which one's better, the E1 or the B2, B1, B1, there's no B1, it's just B. And many people said, uh, but do the B1, B1, I was saying that, Let's do the B because um, a lot of people are doing the E variants and you don't hardly see a lot of them today. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to decide to do that. Now, I have to admit, guys, the detail on the cockpit. It's second to none. I'm really pleased with that detail. I don't know whether you can see on just on the cockpit here, but you can actually get moulded in seat height. Uh, actually, let me take you in a bit more. There you go. You can see there we get moulded in seat harnesses and the detail on the side of the cockpit walls there. Brilliant. So, um, I've got some other things to help me. I've got a fair few books in my stash. Um, yeah, we we'll just get them out. We we'll just get them out for you. Oh God, uh, where did they go? Condor Legion. There we are. Right. So I've got them ones, and I've got this one. Aha. Right. So I've got a couple of books here. I've got um, obviously Mesh Bf one and nine series there. Condor Legion book and of course Aces of the Condor Legion of the Osprey box. I love my Osprey box and these give you some really brilliant detail. Really brilliant detail guys. I should have... There we go. Um, 
There we go. So there you go. You can see most of them are full of detail, telling you what's what. So that's why they're going to help me along the way. Right, I'm going to crack on. Um, as always, I'm going to start with the cockpit. I'll send the parts there, pick them up, and we'll crack on. Yep, I did go away, and uh, once again, I did make a start. Not too much for a start, but there we are. So I went away and painted uh, some of the parts up. I painted this in um, the RLMO2, which is the slate grey. Yeah, and I've also painted up the side parts, control stick, some of the flap aileron controls at the side here, and also the instrument panel that's basic colour. But obviously, I'll paint those up just on the side pretty much. Either way, I'm going to put these uh, parts together. It's quite simple how to put the. Um, well, it's going to be a quick, simple build. I've had a look at how. It all fits on. I have to say, guys, fits on really, really well. So, like that bit there. And of course, this piece then fits into the side here. Hmm. Well, this is a control stick anyway, sorry. Yeah, well, I think one good is I'm going to put these uh, main parts together like um, obviously the the rudder pedals here are put together if they'll actually go together God. put the um, rudder pedals together here put the seat on probably the control stick and then I will um, go away and paint up all the other parts such as the instrument panel and the can't fix word now. Yeah, the side panel. Sorry. Again, just concentrate on this game. Make sure that's right. So yeah, that looks correct. No problems with that. Put a bit of um, extra fill on the inside just there. And a bit in the corners here, just there. I might have taken that shot. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry for a bit, but pretty much the seats will be, um, actually no, hold on. Seat just places in like so. Like that. There we are, that's pretty much um, in place there. Just put a bit of the back here, some glue, and then there we are. Right, so yeah, I'm going to um, go away and start painting the main parts up. Um, rudder pedals are going to be, well, the rudder pedals as well as the instrument panel are going to be painted in a kind of, <coughs> excuse me, it's um, RLM66, it's painted, so it's like a dark grey. They'll be painted up in them, along with the, um, do some details on the control surfaces here, obviously on the throttle lever, probably do some cables, which they are in there, the oxygen supply tank there, and the radiator opener there. And, yeah, um, I'm going to add the control stick in, into here, once it's all done. And then I'm going to paint uh, this, I'm really, I'm really surprised by the level of detail, I think you see on camera. Yeah. Um... Just in there, there is actually a cushion moulded as well as the seat harnesses. That is really, really nice of special hobby to do that. So there we are, that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'll talk through it when I'm back. Good okay guys, right. Parts for the cockpit are all done the stove. Just see you in a second. There we are. Right, so as you can see, the tub is actually done, our sidewalls are done, and our instrument panel is done. Uh, there's no decal for this instrument panel, so we have to bear with and do this in a very weird way. Plump some of this on the side. Now, apparently, this slots in 
like so, like that or something. I I think. Okay, so that pops in. Just this second one. I'm not sure it actually goes in because. Hmm, okay. You can see some, uh, someone talk in the background. Granddad does have a loud voice. Okay, so that's that there. Well done. Someone's sneezing. That's Pat sneezing. Right, that is now in place. Hmm. Was uh, was in place. Okay, let's try and get this back in place again. I'm just going to take this out of camera shot, guys, I think. I just need to um, pull this up to high level. On the bottom, like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like so, and then this part... Actually, should be okay. I think. Let's have a look in the instruction manual, sorry. Oh, always best to consult that. Okie dokie, right. Okay, all right, that's part six. Top like that. Okay. And I'll say well, I'm going to get this thick glue. There we are. Some this thick glue on the top here. So, okay, why won't you sit in properly? Okay, so I just have to take out a shot here, guys, so I can see what's going on. Um, okay, this tub is very, very thin. See what I mean? It's just, well, you can't see what I mean, sorry. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Okay, so that looks like it is all in place. I say that as it just falls out. Okie dokie, right, that's all in place. Now, what we're going to do, too, I'm just going to take some extra fin and glue that in place. Again, I keep saying in place. There we go. <clears throat> Right, so what we're going to do now is go put this into the side wall here. Let's hope it actually does fit in. Oh my god, it does fit in. My god, it actually does fit in. Actually, are we fitting it into the cockpit? That's a good question. Okay, it is a bit of a weird fit, I will admit. <clears throat> okay. Okay, a bit of a weird fit, but that looks all up to scratch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this dry, and when it's while it's drying, 
I'm going to um, give it a wash then and we'll put this all together mm -hmm. actually should it be alright for wash mm, should be okay yeah what I'll do is pop this in the side here No, just pull that out a bit. Okay, so that piece is in there. Now we're going to get the other cockpit side. A few dots around here. Like so. We're going to place it in onto there. Hmm. Okay, so it is an alright fit. Not too bad at all. Pegs onto the back there. Okay, push that up a bit so it just gets a nice fit, and there we go guys, right that is all in place, just need um, a bit of a clamp just to hold together, but extra thin, okay that, that did actually take quite um, longer than what I hoped it would take, That's level, the S is. It's a bit of a weird one because I'm used to always making the F's and the E's, but I've never made a B before, so it is quite unusual to see one. Okie dokie. Right, that's all done. That's together. Take some of these uh, small ones actually. Yeah, pretty much you get the idea guys, I'm going to stop recording now and I'm going to carry on making the rest of the build, putting this all together and such and then we'll see what occurs from then on. It hasn't taken me long at all guys, I've just literally thrown these two wings together and well they're together. Uh, I think you can tell that I've actually um, gone away and done some uh, bolt, well, riveting along the wings there, just the basic things just to give it a nice little effect. I'm not very good at riveting, but there we are. Well, this is my first model doing it, so there we are. Okay. Right. Bit of a tight fit into there, I will admit. Not so bad on the back there, it's just around here. Okay. Okie dokie, right, I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the side here, one the front. Just on here as well. Like so. It's the chair squeaking. Right, I may have to put a clamp in this. Just like that. And I'm just going to have to bring this wing up a bit. And the same with this, that side as well. I'll just put some extra strong glue, or extra quick setting glue, just in there. Put 
some in there. Might need a bit of filler, I reckon, just on this uh, edge just here. But I think. That will perfectly sit on like that. Okie dokie, right, that's in place. It's all sorted out and done. Now I haven't bothered uh, riveting the bottom bit underneath because you won't see it anyway, but there we are. Um, yeah, I'm going to let that super dry, pretty much, and then I'm going to sand everything back because it's a bit uh, hilty piggy here and there. And then we'll get cracking with... Um, yeah, I think with the back wings and this uh, front piece at the front where the cowlings and the engine is supposed to sit. Well, I certainly did go ahead and uh, put things together. Right, while the compressor is built itself up, just while I talk about a few things that's happened. Um, there you go, sort yourself out. Uh, basically, obviously, I've Finish the rest of the kit, I put the ailerons at the back on. Now, there was a bit of issue with them. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Obviously, as the 109 sits, um, the bulges at the bottom face towards the aircraft, the front of the aircraft. Instead, you have two of these which face completely different, the wrong direction. This one's facing down. This one's facing the right way, so basically you have two of the same part, if you get what I mean, instead of one actually being moulded to go face this way. And that's being me hypocritical, but there you are. Um, yeah, that rattling inside, that was the um, the piece that stuck out for the uh, the prop on the front here. Now. I basically put this uh, front piece cowling on and it needed, as you can see, a whole load of sanding across the front here. So I've sanded it the best I can and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this primer, see if there's any problems with it at all. Um, if so, I'll just have to sand it back down again. And once I've done that, I was sorting this front piece out here and it fell in and thought that well, that was it. Um, I'm not going to get it out because I've just put all that work and effort into sanding this down. It's taken me quite a while to do, so sod it, I'll leave it. Um, but there we are. So, what I'm going to do is go primer, just give it one coat. I'm using Mr. Surfacer 1000 here. Uh, I don't know why, it's just one of the best primers I've ever done. I'll also thin it down with some leveling thinner. Now, I'm going to, obviously, as I said in many of the videos, uh, when using this stuff, always use ventilation, guys, because it stinks to high hell. It stinks, but it's brilliant. So I should really be wearing a mask right now, but um, yeah, no one's up yet. So Just pour a bit into there. Let that mix around a bit. Probably have to pour a bit more in actually, but oh well. I need to get nice and thin anyway because I've, if you can't see, I've gone away and, re, like I said before, re riveted the whole of the aircraft. Well, not underneath because obviously no one see that, but mainly the top surface areas. And so, so I'm just giving that a bit of a shake. Should have um, some stuff coming through there. Just check. So I just clean this out, you see, guys. Um, also another thing which I've actually done, I don't know if I've shown my update or not, I actually went away and made this. It is a little um, airbrush gel, which I made myself. I saw on Pinterest of how to make one. Yeah, that sprays perfectly. And there we are. And that's how I make one. There we are. Right, let's pour this into here. I'm going to put a bit in there and see how we get on. Should be okay anyway. I'm just going to do this prop. It's Calvin part. That's actually going on really nice. And you put a thin layer on to start off with. Hmm. 
Okay, the ballot springs are doing not too bad. Um, I probably might need to centre down probably a bit more on some areas of this cowling piece. But apart from that, it looks all fine to me. Oh, I've just sprayed those bits across the front now. Great. Looks alright. I am impressed. Um, I am actually just wondering what to do about this front piece here. Just to give it a bit more of a sand or what. But the. Um, oh, riveting. So I've got my mask on, guys. This is ridiculous. If I could find one. Ah, no way on this. Here we are. Right. Yes. Yes, kids. I always put a mask on when doing this. So. You will hear my voice go a bit weird now, actually. There we are. Right, so you can hear my voice go a bit weird now. So, yeah. Yeah, I always wear a mask, guys, when priming because it will smell this well, proper. And I've only just had this jar out for a few minutes. Um, yeah, bollocks of things, I think I will need to go ahead and sand all this back once it's all dry. Um, I'm happy in some places, it's just like the leading edges around here. So, I think what I'll do is I'll finish this off. Just finish and prime it. Oh, yeah, I was lucky, nearly knocked over. Yeah, so just go away. I'll finish priming all this model up. I'll see how it looks and then I'll probably go away and sand it so it doesn't bear you the boredom of that bit. But there we are guys, it's all sorted. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's all primed up. Um, yeah, I did actually have to go and sort this cowling out. Didn't actually, it was smooth enough, but I've smoothed it up. Smoothed it up. That was a bit confusing then. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Right, I'm going to do the base colour. Um, obviously this is the... Um, Condor Legion aircraft, so it's going to be in the markings of 610. Now, actually, I do have a picture of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I actually have a picture of it? <coughs> Start sneezing one out. Uh, let me just try and find it for you. It's in one of the Osprey books. Here we go. If I just pull them all to a side. <coughs> oh, God. Started sneezing. So there we are. There's a uh, 610. That's the one I'm building. Now I wasn't sure whether these were in an aluminium colours or not, but it does look like it's a, a grey colour box of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So there we are. Um, the colour I'm going to be using. It's going far away at this present time. On your side of the room. The colours I'm going to be using is uh, RLM63. This came out as a light grey. If you remember my Condor Legion Junkers, it came out very weird grey. But there we are. Um, okay, so I'm going to be using the Hatika paints. I don't normally use these. Um, I've added a bit more thinner because they dry quickly. Should add a bit of retarder, really, but there we are. So I'm going to paint the grey bit first and then. I'm going to do like the white wing tips on the end. Now this was an all grey aircraft, there wasn't any blue underneath, so... Tell me that's too thick to spray through again. Oh, there we are, it's coming through now. Hmm. Fit than what I imagined. Okay, right. I think I might have to tip that back in. I always had problems with these colours. I have to bit of um, a bit more extra thin, I think. Yeah, it's all drying up completely. That's a better colour. That's much better. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, it does look like you have to thin it down quite a bit, but no problems there. I'm well, just taking that position, camera position, sorry. So I don't want to ruin this because I've um, literally put all those riveting in and I don't want to lose all that detail. So yeah, that's going on nicely. Hmm. Seems to light dry well. Let's we'll see how it goes from here. There we go. Right, I'm going to continue doing this. Should appreciate it at first, but oh well. Yep, there we are. Right, I'm going to leave that to uh, carry on and get this done. And then once that's done, um, we'll come back and we'll do the white bits in the middle. 